Hi all, it's Con. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do a little video on something that kind of made me laugh a little bit. And it's this. It's a pill box. A Monday to Friday pill box. Um, I am not old. I'm 49. I'll be 50 next year. Um, but a pill box is something that just came in last week because I was... I needed one. I'm not on a lot of medication, but I'll explain to you as I go through why I want a pill box and the benefits it would be to me. Medically, I take two tablets every morning. They're prescribed ones, they're from the doctor, they're nothing exciting. Levothyroxine, because my thyroid went yeah, years ago, um, I take one of them every morning, and a hay fever tablet which I take one of them every morning. That's all medically I take. Um, the hay fever tablet, if anybody knows how to come off of them without having horrific itches would be great. I have hay fever and it starts with early, early tree hay fever. So I tend to have to take these normally from February onwards to like August time. Um, but when I do try to stop them, it's been a couple of years since I have tried to stop them, I get the most horrific itches which then you need an antihistamine to get over the side effects of coming off the tablets. So therefore I just keep taking them all year round, which I don't really need to. I could actually have autumn and most of winter off of them. So if anybody knows, please put it in the comment. But anyway, that's all I take in the mornings. One of them, one of them. But I live in Scotland and Scotland's a dark place for like six months of the year. So vitamin D, it is advised by our government now that we take one of these every day, which I have done. Well, kind of, hence the pill box. I have really good intentions when it comes to vitamin D. I keep them beside the kettle downstairs and my theory is these I take next to my bed and they're at my bedside and I take them every morning as soon as I wake up. I'm a nurse, if I'm on night shift, I take them when I come home before I go to my bed. So these are never missed every day. So I thought, why don't I just make sure I take one of them when I'm taking one of them? So, hence the pill box came in to put them in and put one of them in. I think the Scottish Government this week or last week have actually decided now that they're going to prescribe these to the very elderly, I believe it, care homes and vulnerable, um, which would be really good for them. Take one of them every day. Something I've been taking for the last couple of months um, due to my age is a sage tablet. I have found these, they've transformed me, my sweats. I was getting to the point, I was like a boiling kettle from my feet up about, I don't know, three times an hour, every hour, 24 hours, horrific. Um, I've never felt sweats like it. I still get them, but not half as bad. I've started taking these, it's a sage tablet, um, I order these off Amazon. I'm pretty sure you could get them in Holland and Barrett and stuff like that. These are Menoforce Sage tablets. Um, and it take, it's 51 milligrams of dried sage. I do find they work for me. I've never really been into holistic medicines, but somebody, I think I found it on YouTube actually. And this has been brilliant. And I always take one of them. So this and these have normally always sat next to my bed. So it was starting to get a bit boxy next to my bed. So hence the pill box. So that's four going to be in my, my pill box now. Look. Okay. I did think, well, you know what? If I'm doing that, I could possibly add in a cod liver oil. And then I went to look for, and I don't have any cod liver oil. I thought I did. Um, I do think a cod liver oil would probably be quite good because I maybe, I don't eat oily fish at all. All year I don't eat I don't like tuna I don't like don't like fish that much fish itself um, I maybe eat once a month if I'm lucky um, but Mike is gonna wait to go back to being vegetarian but eating fish so I dare say I'll eat more fish Marcus loves fish Mike loves fish mm. I'd rather have a steak but um, I will be eating a bit more fish but if I can find cod liver oil in the house I'll put one in and I really should buy them um, what else can I tell you? I have these as well. 
cranberry extract. Now these are the triple strength cranberry extract. Um, they are fabulous if you are bothered with urine infections. For a while I seem to get, it's probably stress related, but I seem to get plagued by urine infections. So I did, I actually did a bit of research when I was a student nurse and one of my degree essays was on cranberry juice, does it prevent urine infections? And actually taking a triple strength cranberry is exactly the same as taking an antibiotic for prophylactic reasons to stop you getting a urine infection. So I don't take these unless I feel a urine infection coming on, um, but I do have them in the cupboard. Probably at the moment, the diet that Mike and I have followed for the last year and a half, two years, it involves drinking a lot more water, which is probably why I'm not getting so many urine infections. But these are brilliant. If you are plagued by urine infections, I would thoroughly recommend them. It's one a day. Um, but I would just take that as required. And then finally, they're not going into my pill box, by the way, at the moment. It's just the four. Um, but I have these in my cupboard as well. And I also have this, magnesium. To do with the diet that Mike and I are on, if I'm going hard on the diet and I'm really trying to lose some weight, um, I drink an awful lot of water and when I drink a lot of water it dilutes you and then when it dilutes you you start to feel a bit um, magnesium one of them is brilliant it's supposed to actually be really good for sweats I think as well isn't it? I could probably try that take one a day with a lot of water for muscle function nervous system reduction of tiredness and fatigue but I do think there's something in there about sweats as well so we'll see. But this is the four that's going into my pill box, which I will show you me filling up for the week. Um, my levothyroxine, my hay fever tablet, my anti-sweaty sage, and my vitamin D. And vitamin D, very good for your bones, for your bone health. Orthopedic nurse here, you've got to look after your bones, people. So if you don't, if you live somewhere where you don't get enough sunlight, take a vitamin D, one a day. Um, and like I say, cod liver oil would probably not go amiss. Might make my hair even more shiny. Yeah, never know. Um, so that is my thing. Let me show you me filling it up. Let's start with the actual proper medication. fever medication going in sage these aren't pretty and when you initially get them they smell awful they're not the best but they go down don't bother To actually order some more. That's my sage and my vitamin D. And like I say, I might as well try a week of magnesium, see if it gives me a bit of a boost. A bit powdery. So there you have it. Apart from my cod liver oil. You've probably noticed this isn't in English. Um, I obviously think it must be German, but you know what? There's seven. It's one day a week. Pretty sure I can figure out which day is what, eh? That is me, Daddy, for the week. 
So there you go guys, thanks for watching. Um, I obviously am not, I'm a health professional, but I'm not a health professional when it comes to, um, I'm not a pharmacist. So don't take my word on anything, please do your own research, ask your own doctors before you start taking any weird and wonderful concoctions of medications. Um, I'll try and link, put a link to the pill box if anybody of my age starts to take more than one tablet a day. Um, it's really handy and it just saves so many boxes and faffing about in the morning and the amount of times I've popped it open a tablet and then had to run about in the bedroom and try and find it before the dog did and stuff. It just makes it a lot safer, a lot easier and I won't forget to take my vitamin D all winter, shall I? Um, like I say, thanks for watching. Um, any comments, please leave them below. Like and subscribe. That would be fab. And I'll be in touch again soon. Bye for now.